place you've made the order it's from the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Good morning. Basic evidence license. <laughs> Never heard of it, so I can't tell you. Do you know, Leslie? What's that? What is a basic evidence license? Who has that? Sheriff's Department. I'm not quite sure. It must be something to do with the evidence locker. I didn't know. I figured maybe somebody know. I ain't got a clue. That's a new one on me.
I grabbed the other chair off. It's a rumor. I've not heard anybody officially say that. But. Did you hear anything? They didn't get to rights inspected for the fire. I heard that like two days ago that they're not going to run. Well, that's what I heard, but I haven't heard any real confirmation on that or not. And I don't know that there has been any confirmation from what I've seen. It's still up in the air as to if it can, they can get that inspection done or not. Well, I think the holdup was partly the fence because it has to be surrounded by the new fence so they had to tear the old fence out and then reset the new fence and get it up and then it was another major project that just didn't look like it was going to get done before the inspector showed up but I don't know maybe Karen knows more about it maybe. Well, I know McAtee Rock McAtee and uh, Dustin Anders Cruz the Did they?
Pen's a little nicer than mine. Hmm? Said your pen works a little better than mine. I should have switched with you. Listen, I like them pens. I, like I figured them. you did.
Okay, do I hear a motion to go ahead and approve the minutes and warrants, payroll? So moved. Rock. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. I better hear that from him. He told me that over the phone a couple days ago. But Right. I mean, that is truly a, an auditor um, question in regards to how much and how we can do that. Okay, Leslie, you have yes. anything for us? Um, as of July 10th, we have filed 50 criminal cases in Cheyenne County. Um, Are we? Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I just wonder how prosecutions are going. I mean, are we getting some of these people prosecuted? Just for example, last Tuesday was Cheyenne County Motion Day, and we sentenced five felonies. Okay. Good. Because, you know, the rest doesn't pay off till they get to prosecution. Right, right. They just kind of hang there until someone either pleads or is sentenced, right. and then that's when... Well, that's the reason we're seeing this budget bulge in their inmate care is we've right. got so many in the Right. At one point, um, I believe we had 1% of the population in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know if however, I like that number or not. I don't know if I do either. However, you know, in regards to uh, prosecuting, sometimes that's the, the necessary evil in regards to to getting these cases completed, yeah. you know, and taking into consideration public safety uh, and trying to get a, a resolution on the case. I just checked with um, Cody, and after last week, we only have three that are still in custody. Um, one of them was sentenced to DOC last week. So we do have one that's headed off to prison. Um, and we're trying to, you know, be as efficient as possible. But when they're represented by counsel, I just can't come time. in and uh -huh. say, all right, you know, let's let's get something accomplished here. They have to have the ability to do their job and be adequately prepared to start negotiating. Yeah. Okay. Well, not much we might, not much we can do about that as far as budgetary needs go. We'll just have to see what Cody has come up with for a plan. Well, and also by taking them to Rollins County, that is saving the county some money because Sherman County was more expensive. Sure. And so by taking them to Rollins, you know, that's going to help with the cost. How many can they house over there? That I can't answer. It's not very many compared no. to Sherman County. I was just wondering, you know. But Sherman County's full. Yeah, I, and I was just wondering with, what do you do for a backup if... Rollins County Fields. They are taking Colby. them to Decatur. Decatur. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know that. Okay. Anything else for us? Not unless you guys have some questions. I mean, there are several 
things that are going on, but I have no resolution at this point to <laughs> be able to make an announcement. One thing we talked about, this is kind of getting into old business, but we talked about moving that recreational fund over to the fair board. Correct, and that is my bad with everything else that has been happening. I have not had the opportunity to look into that. Okay. Um, however, I will be in contact with the auditors about getting that transferred and we'll okay. get a, a budget transfer in place if that's what we need to do. Yeah, I'd like to see that done here pretty quick if we can. We will do that as quickly as possible. Okay. Also, uh, last meeting you had indicated there was a hospital build that I needed to visit with Cody about. That's been taken care of. Good. In our favor. Exactly. Okay. All right. Any other old business? We need to set a budget meeting. We do need to set a budget meeting. Uh, Leslie, I think yours is the most hard, yours is the hardest schedule to make something fit. You tell us what'll work for you, and we'll go from there. Are you looking for a half day or a whole day? I we did it in a half day last year, but whether we can do it again, I don't know. Well, we're still under tax lid, so we can't go up too much on anybody's budget. No. It's about one point four. Is that what it is? Okay. Let's start with a half day and and see where we're at the end of that day. We can always schedule another one. If you're wanting to do it this week, um, I was supposed to be gone on Thursday. However, that fell through. So I could do it Thursday or I could do it Friday of this week. Thursday works better for me. You have a preference, Roger? You want to do it Thursday morning at, I'll say, 9 o'clock? That work for you? Work for you. So that will be the uh, 19th. at 9 o'clock. Yeah, if that's okay with everybody. The auditor has sent, uh, John Mapes has sent the budget back with no changes until we get so the, until we get the stuff to me. Okay. Correspondence and information. Oh, we've got wage agreements for Martin Mistel, since he's going part time. Another one for Dave Warren that he's going back to operator, but he hasn't. I haven't received that back from him. Up at Yost. Couldn't our mechanic could do that? Or is that a warranty deal? Well, that's what I was going to say. Is that under still a warranty? So they've got to do it for so long. Well, you have to service them when they're under warranty? Through? Well, I suppose. Uh, well, it might have been one of them freebie things. Oh, oh, well, it so might have freebie know. because we paid. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, uh, 
what other incentives to get you to buy a gun? I don't know. Will I have to ask? I don't know either. Oh, I have a tax credit fund request. It's the second one on that. PBC. Does it ever set a date for the LTC meeting, the next one? It's Wednesday at 7. This coming Wednesday? I was gone when all that was going on. Parts of it I missed. Or that's the last word I got. It's the tax credits that they received to furnish the, the inside. Furnish. The assisted living. Furnishings for the assisted living. Who's McGilvery? What's that? Uh, no. Just outside of town, they're by the cemetery. It looks like. Shelter's old place. Do we need a motion to approve this? Or? Okay, do I hear a motion to go ahead and approve the tax credit fund request from uh, uh, the Cheyenne County? Home for the Age Senior Living Project for the amount of $2,118. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Same note, the tree service that was hired to do the tree work up there took it upon themselves to brace and bolt a crab apple tree, $300. They ground two stumps for $600, and those three were not asked of them to do, they just did it. Sounds like we need to do some negotiation here. Who'd you receive this from? Um, this is above and beyond the bid they had. Apparently. Yeah. Fuck 
can't think of the name, Liz Girl Street. Oh, yeah. And the work's already been done. Yeah. And find out if somebody told him to do it. Supposedly nobody did. They just saw it and did it. So. Who was communicating with them? The person that I can't remember her name. <laughs> I know who he's talking about. I can Two. Uh, Griffin. Yeah. So. So the original was $5,200. The two that are in question are worth nine hundred dollars, three hundred sixty <laughs> respectively. said she didn't tell him to do it. No. When's the next PBC? Yes, the administrator of the exam. I think he was out of the loop on this. Because that was generated during the PBC meetings. Who was going to trim them trees? Well, we approved it anyway. Yeah. These are the trees that they didn't feel comfortable. They were close to power lines and stuff. Well, I remember the $5,200 was, <clears throat> was the bid for that project. Somebody didn't see him out there and went and said, why don't you just go ahead and clean these stumps up? I think you'd have to ask somebody on the PVC. My opinion is that it needs to go back to PVC, have them follow up to find out why this happened. And possibly do some negotiation with it too. Exactly. The next meeting is Thursday. Yeah, see they're going to meet later this week anyway, so let's table it until then. Get some more information about it. Dave. Somebody don't. I know, Todd. Dave couldn't be here today. They are from Sealing, the Old Wheeler Road, Detour Road. Um, so I think he wanted to say. Another thing is he said this picnic for the scenic byway on the Parks Road. The what? There's apparently a spot where they were putting out a picnic table and stuff. They're putting a kiosk kiosk on the parks road mm -hmm. he would like you commissioners to go look at it he said this stuff's all, only about eight foot off the road and he thinks it's a little dangerous and that that'll work because I'm meeting with them tomorrow afternoon so I'll, I'll make sure and bring that up because they had a contractor go up there and look at that and he signed off on it and said, yeah, this can be done. Yeah, it's the little pull-off pull off on Road 15 that looks down into the brigs. It's not a very big area. Yeah, well, I'll 
I'll take that up with him tomorrow. Did he have that in a letter form? He was just no, concerned. he just he was concerned about. He just called me Friday. I received an email on it. Do you want me to forward that to you? Please. Uh, there's a letter here from the Division of Property Valuations. It's uh, the county appraiser has met the statistical performance stand standards established for the commercial, industrial, and residential classes of property. Understand that it. Well, actually, I can. <laughs> That's what I gather out of that. But Could you explain that to me? No, I cannot. Other than it's kind of an attaboy for Amanda, I think. Um, I still have not heard back from the adjuster yet. I've left a message and he has a call back. Also, the auditors on auditing that one fund are supposed to have an agreement for me for this meeting. Nothing. Vacation time, I guess. Well, and they're, it's audit season, too. Yeah. They do a number of counties on the buildings. I'd like to ask for 15 minutes of executive session for non elected personnel. Okay. I so move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.